Dawat. Live. face this side Hello. Good morning and welcome to the Panjim Chimkana ground. It's the semi-finals day of Bandhodka T20 League 2024. We're all set for the toss. We have the two umpires here, Pramesh Parab and Sujay Netravarkar. We have with us both the captains, Deepra Gaukar for Sargaonkar Cricket Club and uh, Felix Alemao uh, leading the Mudgaon Cricket Club side. We all with a special guest uh, for the toss ceremony, uh, Mr. Ilyas Naru, the organizing team member for the Bandodka T20 League 2024. So let's begin with the toss here. Who will flip the coin? The guest, uh, Mr. Ilyas Naru, to flip the coin, and it will be Felix Alemao to call. Hates was the call and hates it is. Uh, Felix for MCC has won the toss. And what have you decided, Felix? We will to bat first. You had a good look at the pitch as well. Your reasons to decide to bat first? Yeah, it looks like a good wicket to bat on. And uh, we've, uh, last two games also, we've batted first. And uh, we know how the wicket works later on. So I think, uh, yeah, it's better to stick to what we have been doing and been successful so far. Any changes to your team? Yeah, we have one change. Uh, Kastub is unavailable for this game. So, Yash plays, is in the 11 for this game. Good luck to you, Felix Alimao and to MCC. Can I have a word with Dipraj Kaunkar, the captain for Saragongar? Dipraj, uh, what would you have done if you had won the toss? Yeah, we would like to bowl first. On little damp over here, so we would have uh, bowl first. So, uh, it doesn't matter as far as the decision is concerned now. Feeling confident? Yeah, pretty confident, uh, really amazing to see and looking forward for this game. Any change in your team? Yeah, one change in the team, Vijan Panchal is coming in, in place of Yash Chauhan. All the best, uh, Deepraj and Saragankar Cricket Club. Let's have a quick word with Mr. Ilyas Naru, a member of the organizing team for Bandhodkar T20 League. Ilyas, uh, Huge tournament, a big brand, Bandhodkar T20 League. Uh, what uh, would be your analysis of cricket so far and the future plans? Uh, Bandhodkar Trophy has been going on for many years. Like I remember my days playing here. So all the well-known cricketers in, around India and in Goa, a lot of players have played this tournament and they understand the importance of this tournament. I wish all these boys here a very all the best because these guys are future of Goa and they should make the most use of such tournaments and hope they play some good cricket. Absolutely. Thank you, Ilyas, for uh, making yourself available and gracing this occasion. So we all set for the semi-final MCC versus Sargaonkar Cricket Club. The action will begin in a very short while. And that's all from the center here. The news is MCC captain Felix Salema won the toss and MCC will bat first.
Game on. Two puzzles with that is out there. That's huge. Wrapped on the bags, loud appeal, up goes the finger. And celebration begins. Well, looks like almost as if the ball is not even balanced, and what a good teamwork here. Could be a run out, and yes, it's a direct hit. Coming down the track, the ball on the half a and play huge high and handsome right out from the middle of the bag. That's robbing for you, he's playing the bonus. बाउंड्री रोबाकडे दोन्ही टीमनी लाइनअप करते पुलचे आतले रणजी कॅप्टन सुभाष संग्राळकर आज आमच्या मध्ये ना तंका गाला अटॅक हार्ट अटॅक आयलो तो ताजा मेमरी ताजे यादीन 1 मिनिट आम्ही मौन पाळपाच Game on. The two puzzling little battles out there. That's huge. Wrapped on the bags, loud appeal, up goes the finger. And celebration begins. It looks like almost as if the ball is not even balanced, and what a good team work here! Could be a run out, and yes, it's a direct hit. Coming down the track, the ball on the half earlier, and play huge. And hands are right out from the middle of the bag. That's robbing for you. He's playing the bonus. Game on. The two puzzling little battles out there. That's huge. Wrapped on the bags, loud appeal, up goes the finger. And celebration begins. It looks like almost as if the ball is not even balanced, and what a good team work here. Could be a run out, and yes, it's a direct hit. Coming down the track, the ball on the half earlier, and play huge high and handsome right out from the middle of the bag. That's robbing for you. 
He's playing the bonus. Requesting both the teams to line up along the boundary rope to pay one minute silence tribute to the departed former Goa captain Subhash Kangrakar, who left for he Heavenly Abode on Monday. Let's observe a one minute silence in the memory of late Subhash Kangrakar. Good morning. Getting the action started with one minute silence in the memory of former Goa Ranji Trophy captain Subhash Kangrakar, who suffered a massive heart attack and expired yesterday. Thank you, gentlemen. We, we pay uh, tribute to the late uh, Subhash sir, who represented Goa with great distinction and set up a real, helped to set up a real cricket culture in the state. One of the legends of Goan cricket, Subhash Kangrakarji, is no more with us. He was always available for guidance for players and all other cricket enthusiasts in the state. With that, uh, we get going with this first semi-final in the Bandodkar T20 League 2024. Mudgaon Cricket Club are taking on the defending champions, Saragaonkar Cricket Club, in the first semi-finals. Here at the here at the Panjim Jimkhana ground at Kampal Panji Goa, 
MCC captain Felix Alemau won the toss and MCC will bat first. MCC had topped the group A. They have been in good touch with the bat amongst big runs as well. Especially the batter Abhinav Tejrana, the only centurion of this tournament so far. While Sargaonkar Cricket Club finished runner up in Group B and were given a very big scare by Chaugule Sports Club in the last match of virtual quarter final. And here they are in the semi finals. taking on MCC. All set to start the action. Deepraj Gaukar to bowl to Abhinav Tejrana. Abhinav Tejrana on strike now had scored a fantastic 101 against Deserts and More Geno Sports Club in the group stage, hitting uh, 14 boundaries and four sixers in this in that match. The man in form on strike and is at the non-striker's end is uh, Sanat Neogi. Change in batting combination for MCC to start this match. Deepraj Gaukar bowling the opening over from the Bandotkar Road and very experienced Ranji Trophy all rounder for Goa. Earlier at the toss, he, he sounded really confident and looking forward for this encounter, semi final encounter.
Saragaonkar Cricket Club's performance hasn't been exactly to a highest quality that they would have liked to, being the defending champions and also the reigning champions of Goa Premier League, the three days championship conducted by GCA before Bandurka T20 League, organized here by Panjim Jimkhana. Just one run from this over so far, and that two in the extras column as a wide. So Deepraj Kaukar so far bowling a real tight over. No run of the bat still coming here. This time Abhinav Tejrana launches a fancy square drive and getting a boundary for it. Four runs to the total, five for no loss at the end of the first over here after MCC won the toss and elected to bat first. This is the semi-final of Pandorka T20 League 2024 organized by Panjim Jimkhana. Lakmesh Pauni will share the new ball and he's coming on from the Mandavi River end. Hasn't made a good impression so far in this tournament, but this is the big match, the semi final, and he would be itching to make an impression here. Short delivery and Sanat Nevgi launches it beyond the square leg boundary for a sixer. What a shot. Sanat Nevgi has played, is known to play the big hits and there comes the first one from his bat. Sanat hasn't exactly been amongst runs so far in this tournament. Today is the day for everybody here to bring their best game to the table. Oh, Lakmesh Pawne has got him. What a delivery. Instant revenge from Lakmesh Pawne and how Sanat is dismissed for six. MCC lose their first wicket. What a delivery there by Lakmesh Pawne to get the first wicket. The ball moving slightly 
and Sanat Nevgi was beaten, missed the line due to that little movement of the pitch and Lakmesh rocking the timber. Mudgaon Cricket Club 11 for 1. Rahul Mehta is the new man in. Short delivery and this time it's a boundary similar delivery to what Sanat had faced. Rahul Mehta here has opened his account with a boundary in the deep square lake region. The timing was pretty good. Nice way to get off the mark for Rahul Mehta. One bounce to the fence. 15 for 1. Mudgaon Cricket Club having elected to bat first. Single being taken. Quite sharp, and that's good to see. Soft hands. Very important to rotate the strike as well in the first six overs, the power play stage. It will be Abhinav Tej Rana now on strike to Lakmesh Pawani. Left alone, the ball moving with the angle, going wider of the off stump, and Abhinav Tejrana decided not to flirt with that delivery. Watchful approach as well here from Abhinav, who was in a murderous mood in the last game, scoring 101 of 57 deliveries. Oh, what a shot there. Lakmesh Pawne could not find it getting one on his shoulder. That's also the end of the second over. 16 for the loss of one wicket, Mudgaon Cricket Club. Certainly saved some runs there, Lakmesh Pawne. On his follow through. That was a fierce drive on the rise there by Abhinav Tejrana. Deepraj Gaonkar, the captain of Saragaonkar Cricket Club, will continue from the Bandodkar Road end. A very gritty customer, Deepraj, never sees die. And here is with the ball in his hand, Rahul Mehta will be on strike. Beaten, trying to play that expansive drive on the offside, Rahul Mehta. Chasing a whitish delivery. And, but the ball came in. Ball moved into him and a taught delivery nevertheless for Deepraj.
single to the total rahul mehta moves on to 6 abhinav tejrana is on 4 wide signaled by umpire pramesh parab second wide of the morning coming of the praj bowling This time Abhinav Tej Rana goes straightish in the V and it's a sixer for him first maximum for Abhinav Tej Rana who moves on into double digits 10 for him now from 9 anything full is severe anything pitch short he also has shown a knack of playing very powerful pull shots as well good looking player there mm. expecting a real cracker of a contest must be the viewers of the bandodka t20 league tournament being live streamed on goa live cast youtube channel goa's best talents are on show and as well as some of the outstation players as well in both sides tournament has seen very good sporting tracks as well runs a plenty and effort of the bowlers have also been rewarded good carry in the track as well nicely placed there caressed in the offside for a single by rahul mehta the right hander end of third over madgaon cricket club at 26 for 1 having elected to bat first experienced uh, amit yadav off break bowler will come on from the mandvi river and short delivery and rahul mehta takes full benefit from there 
nicely played in the onside and also falling in the process after completing that shot We've seen that quite a bit from Rishabh Pant in the recent times full body weight and power in the shot in the balance may not be right but doesn't matter runs is what is of paramount importance and not the aesthetics of it the players in today's era go for it in t20s in particular this time it will be abhinav tejrana will be on strike mithyada to bowl wide signaled by umpire sujay netravarkar good delivery on the money stump to stump line that's the accuracy that amit yadav possesses very experienced pro as well six of this over so far the last delivery coming up now in the fourth over this time apesh and good catch there it's lakmesh pawne fielding in the gully and that's the end of abhinav tejrana the man who has been in form for mcc has been dismissed for 11 sargaonkar cricket club will be relieved to see the back of this danger man in the first semi final year mcc are 32 for 2 in four overs amit yadav strikes in his very first over Goa Ranji Trophy Pro Samar Dubashi is the batter who has come out to replace Abhinav Tej Rana. Vision Panchal is now coming on to bowl from the Bandodkar Road and left arm spinner. is the only change in the lineup today for Saragaonkar Cricket Club big match always the semi finals is Rahul Mehta is on strike he is on 12 of 7 deliveries 8 now it's a phase where mcc will have to do some rebuilding repair 
and Samar Dubashi will be on strike now quite experienced at such situations has been the crisis man as well for the team in the past Vijan Panchal bowling quite a probing line there. Just one run has come from this over, four deliveries gone. Off the mark, Summer Dubashi. Slightly overcast morning here at Panjim Jimkana ground. One run to Rahul Mehta to end this Vijan Panchal over. Just three coming from it. And MCC are 35 for the loss of two wickets at the end of five. Lakmesh Paune is coming on for his second over. So Saragaonkar clearly mixing things up here. A ploy has been commonly used in this tournament. Starting the sixth over from Manvi River End. Protection there on the deep point boundary just a single to Rahul and MCC Hit uppishly, but just beyond the outstretched palms, or direct hit. Direct hit there. Putting Summer under immense pressure and a dive being employed to make his ground there by Summer, and that has probably saved him. What a shot by Rahul Mehta here. Over the middle of field and a very, very important boundary as well, breaking the shackles a bit for MCC. The last two overs had been really tight. 41 for 2 now, 5.3 overs gone. Rahul Mehta moves on to 19 from 12.
वंस अगेन राहुल मेहता pretty severe on full deliveries and gets another boundary under his belt that is good batting not allowing the bowler to get away with the delivery also some change in pace coming in there from lakmesh pawne but rahul was in the position he had spotted what's coming and that's that prepared him to unleash another attacking shot good positive cricket now from rahul mehta and mcc lakmesh pawne gets the revenge again he had done it similar similar pattern the first over getting rid of sanat and this time rahul mehta has been sent back castled bang on target lakmesh pawne knocks back the middle stump straight delivery but uh, rahul mehta had left a very big gap wanting to play that flamboyant shot on the on side and missed the line of the delivery altogether rahul mehta departs for 23 of 14 hitting four boundaries in that little entertaining knock so mcc who had who were trying to move on suffers a blow again three wickets down now 45 runs on the board the last delivery of the power play will now be coming from uh, lakmesh pawne who has picked up two wickets Tapasvi Pininti one of the outstation players is now at the crease straight away gets off the mark with that confident shot on the off side 46 for 3 and that's also the end of power play stage lakmesh pawne 2 for 22 in his two overs slightly expensive but then he's picked up two stroke makers from the mcc team the run rate is at 7.62 very early days here in this first semi final between mcc and uh, sargaonkar cricket club vijan panchal is coming on for his second over on the trot bowled very tightly in his first giving away just three runs this situation usually the teams keep an eye out on consolidation as well as trying to put the opportunities to the sword as well big responsibility on the shoulders of the likes of summer and tapasvi here now for mcc slightly shorter delivery but uh, 
summer guides that ball straight to the fielder back to back three dot deliveries this time there's a single on offer there Sargaonkar bowler Vishan Panchal bowling to a plan here Three runs once again in the Vision Panchal over MCC are 49 for three at the end of seven. Amit Yadav will continue from the Mandavi River end, bowl his first over and picked a wicket as well in that, giving away just six runs. There's a lot of tricks up his sleeve as well. Good turning delivery there, flighted delivery as well, wanting to induce the striker P. Tapaswi into playing a tall bowler with that angle as well of the ball coming in from a height walks to his advantage getting the bounce as well all in all this is a good tussle very experienced bowler in this Situation where MCC are in. It's 50 up on the board as well for MCC. 50 for 3. And Summer Dubashi tries to play the reverse sweep. Leg by signaled by umpire Sujay Netravarkar. Takes the total up to 51. What a shot there by Tapaswi Pininti. Four runs for that reverse hit. Was in good position to play that shot, Tapaswi and getting a lot of bat behind the ball 55 for 3 now the batter read the mind of the bowler and get one this time Tabaswi goes straight over the long on region for a sixer this is good positive cricket once again and that's what is required this is a semi-finals a counter-attack of sorts here in this over now Tapaswi Pininti taking a four and a sixer of two back-to-back -back deliveries by Amit Yadav delicately played He has missed it, tried to play it, but uh, the ball was wide and four runs as well. Tapaswi looked like he was close to the ball, but uh, the ball has missed everything. Straying down the leg side as well. So four runs. And Total five runs. 
Total five runs to that wire and this is followed by another cracking boundary by Tabas Vipininti. What an over this has been for MCC. A big one. 20 runs came from this over. Over number eight that was and Mudgaon Cricket Club move on to 70 for the loss of three wickets. Pete Tapasvi has moved on to 18 from 8 balls. Summer is on 3. Vishandre? Vishandre. Vision Panchal, left arm orthodox bowler will be continuing from the Bandodkar road end. He has bowled two overs so far and given away just six runs. Fighting in a short one and Summer Dubashi was ready for that delivery. Posting it into the deep fine leg boundary for four runs. Just getting inside the line of the delivery and lifting it up. Into the vacant fine leg boundary. Summer moves on to seven. It's the first boundary considered by Vijan Panchal as well is in his third over. Look at that bounce, what a delivery, extracting a lot of bounce was Vijan Panchal there, single to summer as well. This has been a normal feature in this tournament. The spinners have also derived a lot of bounce and turns at, at times. Seventy-six for three. Summer Dubashi is on eight on strike. End of ninth over, Mudgaon Cricket Club have moved on to 78 for the loss of three wickets. This is the first semi-final of the Bandodkar T20 League 2024. Later in the day, we will witness the second semi-final and that will be between Manas, Panjim Jimkana and Deserts and More, Chino Sports Club. So it's a double-headed Semi-finals day here at Panjim Jimkana ground. And we are expecting a cracker of a contest here as well as in the second match. Top players are in action from the Goan Ranji Trophy circuit as well as strong outstation talents as well in all the four teams.
Shivam Singh has been drafted into the bowling attack. The last over bowl from the Mandavi River by Amit Yadav was expensive. And Captain Deepraj Gaukar makes a change. Shivam Singh, medium pacer, is now operating from the river end. The last two overs have resulted in 29 runs. MCC's run rate has been boosted. Over pitched delivery, just a single for Tapasvi Pininti. He moves on to 21 from 12. And the total is 79 for 3. Samar Dubashi guides that ball into the third man boundary for a another four runs and moves into double digits. Very well played shot there. Finding the gap between the gully and short third man and the vacant region is for the taking. Opening the face of the bat and using the pace of the bowler. He moves on to 13. Oh, this time, a rush of blood, probably, and he would be very disappointed with that coming down the track. And Shivam Singh, it's a slow baller, cutter of a delivery, and Summer missed the line of the ball altogether. Good variation by Shivam Singh to get that breakthrough, and the dangerous partnership that was developing has come to an end. 83 for 4, MCC. This is the 10th over in operation. And Dishank Miskin is the new batter. The youngster has now got an opportunity to bat. We have seen him in the field, in the group stage, quite a safe pair of hands. Now with the bat in his hand, we'll have a very, very important role to play if MCC have to continue to play positive cricket in this first semi-final of Bandodkar T20 League 2024. P. Tapasvi has looked very solid and positive at the other end. Dishank Miskin is now on strike to Shivam Singh, who has considered five runs from, from his first four deliveries. Trying to get off the mark and in the end he gets the single that he was looking for. 
Dishank Miskin. The young left-hander. Opens his account. 84 for 4. This is the 10th over. The last delivery coming up. Shuam Singh. The bowler has picked up very important wicket of summer in this over. Ten overs gone, Mudgaon Cricket Club, 84 for four. Sagar Vantamuri, new polar replacing Vishan Panchal from the Bandodka Road End. Ten was gone, 84 for four, Mudgaon Cricket Club. A nice partnership that was developing, was broken in that last over. The fourth wicket partnership between Tapasvi and Summer was worth 38 runs and came at a very quick time as well. Thirty-eight from twenty-three balls. The scoring rate was had infused a lot of positivity in the MCC ranks as well. Nice looking drive there by Dishank Miskin for a single. Eight point one is the current run rate for MCC. Down the track here, Tapasvi and launches it. Big for a sixer. Very confident right from the time he came into the crease. Tapasvi Pininti is turning it on here for MCC. 27 from 14 deliveries now. And MCC are up to 91 for four. Striking very, very confidently. Good to see that he get Tapa Sweep in India. He's getting into good positions to play short. Technically strong. And at the other end, the left-handed Dishank Miskin. On strike and doing the right thing as well. Bringing on his senior partner back on strike. Good to see this little phase of play now. 93 for 4, Mudgaon Cricket Club after 11 overs.
Shivam Singh will continue from the Mandvi River end. Six runs and a wicket in his previous over. Short pitch delivery and the Shank Miskin has pushed it towards the covers boundary for a single. Good to see the approach, the busy approach of the youngster trying to keep the scoreboard ticking and also in the process getting Tapasvi on strike. He has been the aggressor here in this inning. 28 of 15 so far. What a shot again. This time Tabasvi goes straight. Six is the result. This is Tapasvi's third sixer of the inning moves on to 34 from 16. Change in pace doesn't work for Shivam Singh this time as Tapasvi Pininti launches the ball straight over the bowler. 100 up as well for MCC. A good contest between the bat and the ball is being played out here in the first semi-final so far at the Panjim Jimkana ground at Kambal in Panji Goa. An iconic venue, a nursery of cricket full of historic moments. What a shot this time coming down but just a little chip into the long on region single there this time for Tapasvi didn't go full throttle with that shot satisfied with the single moves on to 35 the shank miskin on strike is on four last delivery of the 12th over coming up Subtle hands there by the Shank Miskin. Knows the vacant areas and getting singles by maneuvering the ball through those open spaces. Takes a single, keeps the strike. MCC 102 for 4 in 12. Quite a hot day here in Panjim. Both the batters having a little bit of hydration as well. Very important in this weather. And also probably getting some message maybe. The, the situation from the MCC point of view would be inching towards a solid foundation, solid launch pad to, to unleash a major assault in the latest stages of this inning. 102 for 4 in 12. 
and we will see Punlik Naik, the Goa under-19 captain, for the first time this morning with the ball in his hand. Punlik coming on to bowl from the Bandodka Road end. And it will be the Shank Miskin, his under-19 teammate on strike for MCC, of course. This will be interesting from the point of view of Goa under 19. The ball and the bat going against each other. Straight to the covers fielder. Two dot deliveries now in this first over for Punlik Naik. Obviously, getting the ball to land in the good areas and batter unable to get beyond the fielder. This time plays with the soft hand and tries to run, but there's total mix-up. And mix-up in the field as well. It's comedy of errors. Look at that. The wicket keeper could not grab the ball. And Dishank Miskin has survived. What a lifeline for Dishank. He was way down the track, almost running a single. Nevertheless, a dot delivery. Four dot balls in this over now. And Sargonkar Cricket Club who should have had that breakthrough. Are at least able to put a brakes on the scoring rate. Good feeling by bowler Punlik Naik. Is this going to be the first maiden over of the Bandodkar T20 League 2024? The last delivery coming up. We have had five dart balls so far. Good effort by the bowler Punlik Naik, but Dishank Miskin this time getting the single and just one run coming from that over means MCC 103 for 4 at the end of 13.
Deepraj Saragaonkar, the captain. Deepraj Gaonkar, beg your pardon. The captain of Saragaonkar Cricket Club brings himself on from the Mandvi River end now. Two hours for 15 in his previous spell. The Shank Miskin feeling the heat a little bit. He's on six from 15 deliveries. Tapaswi at the other end is on 35. The key here will be rotating the strike. If you're thinking from MCC point of view, Nicely played off his hips there. And the fielders saving the ball from going on, crossing the boundary line. Two, la two runs, nevertheless, for the Shank. Tapaswi is giving some tips to the youngster to get him to play in a confident manner, good learning opportunity. Pressure is a great teacher as well. And that's how a young cricketer can move forward by tackling the pressure in the right sense of it. Bouncer this time and the shank. Plays the hook shot perfectly. Six runs to Dishank. Very impressive shot there. And he will feel mighty relieved as well. 14 now from 17 balls. Deepraj Kaukar unleashing a bouncer. Well directed bouncer. And Dishank was ready to take up the challenge. What a shot. For maximum MCC, move on to one, one, one for four. Very well struck shot there. Even as his balance was. Even as he was losing the balance, but he went through with that shot with. Very decent amount of power and good contact. A single to follow takes Mudgaon Cricket Club's score to 112 for four. Tapasvi, 35 of 18, is now on strike. Has been at the non strikers end for a little time and now on strike. Unleashes another flowing drive, just a single though. Deepraj Kaunkar now going round the wicket for the left-hander, the Shank. Good delivery to end the 14th over, a dot ball. Deepraj Kaunkar, 25 runs have come from his three overs so far. Very good movement off the seam this time for Deepraj. MCC 113 for four. Last six overs to go now.
पीयूष यादव यश कासवणकर योगेश कौठणकर यार्डला वासु एंड फेलिक्स आलेमाओ येट टू बैट वी हैव सीन व्हाट यार्डला वासु हैज डन इन द टूर्नामेंट सो फार ही हैज प्लेड अमेजिंग कैमियोज सो एम सी सी हैव गुड अमाउंट ऑफ डेप्थ इन देअर बैटिंग लाइन अप Malik Salema the skipper can also strike them big so last 6 overs should be interesting sargaonkar cricket club have so far used seven bowlers amit yadav has picked up a wicket lakmesh pawne has picked up two wickets in his previous two overs and we will now see vision panchal who has been very economical with his previous 3 overs giving away just 14 runs coming on to bowl now from the bandodka road end reverse hit is being tried out here leading edge but no problem with that beats the fielder four runs tapasvi pininti has used this shot for good value in this inning and once again he gets a boundary 117 for four now madgaon cricket club tapasvi is in his 40s so boundary struck off this first ball of this vision panchal over a uh, dot ball to follow up by vision once again a reverse but this time the fielder the ball as the shot has found the fielder and no runs for that the pasvi is on 40 of 22 deliveries very good shot uh, by sectioning the fielders now on the on side and getting a boundary the pasvi pin in india shown that he can play all around the park here the ball in his zone for that on drive and tapasvi lands in a very good connection as well 44 tapasvi pininti is on just a single for that powerful hit down the ground moves on to 45 Hundred and twenty-two for four now, Mudgaon Cricket Club. The last ball in the fifteenth over now coming up. The partnership is also assuming important proportions now. The partnership is worth thirty-nine. A single to end the over number fifteen. It's one, two, three for four. Mudgaon Cricket Club. The partnership moves on to forty. The fifth wicket partnership now in progress between Tapasvi Pininti and Dishank Miskin.
Lakmesh Pawne, who has already picked up two wickets in his previous two overs, is coming back from the Mandvi River and the Pacer. This is his third over in a very crucial phase now, last five overs remaining. Dishank Miskin gets a single of the first ball of the 16th over. 17 from 21 for young Dishank. Tapasvi Pininti is on strike now. He is on 45 from 24 balls. Ambitious this time, P. Tapaswi wanted to go big and long, but not in position to pull that off. Dart ball for Lakmesh Pawne. The last five overs regarded the death overs in the T20 format are well and truly on this time is well struck shot finds the deep point fielder two dot balls now back to back the key for MCC here will be accumulating as many runs as possible they've Come to a very solid launch pad here, thanks mostly to Tapasvi. Good throw from the deep for Saragankar and preventing the second run. Not that Tapasvi Pininti was interested, but Dishank was eager and luckily for him, he was home as well. Sixteenth over in progress. Two from the first four balls now in Lakmesh's over. The death overs are crucial and we have seen in this tournament teams unleash aggressive approach in the death overs. Here goes Tapasvi Pininti. What a shot over the cow's boundary. He knew it. He was not running for it. What a shot. And Tapasvi Pininti also gets to his half century. 52 Tapasvi Pininti from 28 deliveries. This is his fourth sixer of the inning. And it's been very entertaining to watch this outstation player of Tapasvi Pininti. The partnership as well. The fifth wicket partnership has moved on to 49 runs. The highest of the MCC inning so far. 16 overs gone. MCC are 132 for the loss of four wickets.
Deepraj Gaonkar, the Sarah Gaonkar skipper, comes on to bowl his fourth and final over. He's been wicketless and has given away 25 so far. This is the 17th over. Dishank Miskin is on strike. The current run rate is 8.25. Dishank goes up as just single. It's the mid off fielder. Cuts that off. Dishank Miskin moves on to 19 of 23 balls. And that's also the 50 run partnership between these two players of 39 balls. The partnership coming in good time as well and most importantly is building the spine of this MCC total the Paswi gets a single of that full toss Lucky to get away with just a single Nipraj. High full toss with his pace. He knows that and full delivery to Dishank Miskin this time who really times the shot well into the vacant straightish. Region playing in the V gets a boundary. Welcome boundary there for Dishank. He'll feel good. With that shot, what a shot. In good position and goes aerial over the bowler's head. Dishank Miskin moves on to 23 of 24 balls. MCC 138 for four. Seven runs from this over so far. Two deliveries still to go. Tapa sweep in Inti is on 53 from 29 balls on strike now. Good running there by Tapasvi Pininti. Two runs to his total. He moves on to 55 of 30. Hundred and forty one for four MCC. Trying to play a reverse hit, but missing it and a dot ball to finish. The quota of four overs for Deepraj Kaunkar, 34 runs coming from his effort. Nine runs came from this over, 17 overs gone, MCCR 141 for four.
Yadlov Vasu has come in as Dishank Miskin has retired hurt. 18th over has just started Shivam Singh. is the bowler from the Mandvi River and 15 runs have come from his previous two overs. Yadla Vasu has been exceptional in the death overs in the group stage. Can he repeat the act? We will wait and watch but Tapaswi is now on strike. 55 of 31 so far. What a shot once again, but this time the Salgaonkar filter on the covers boundary. Sagar Wantamuri has taken a very good, well judged catch there. It was hit very powerfully by Tapasvi Pininti. And the outstation player here, Tapasvi, has played. A very entertaining knock. 55 runs to his name with four boundaries and four sixes. Lighting up that knock. Very good running catch there by Sagar Vantamuri. And MCC lose the fifth wicket. 17.2 overs gone. MCC 142 for five. Piyush Yadav has come out to replace Tapasvi Pininti. A very timely knock by Tapasvi, giving MCC the steel that is required at the stage of semi finals. The first of them today. Here in the Bandodkar T20 League 2024. Pishado opens his account straight away. Known to be a good sweeper of the ball as well. Yadav. But right now, all eyes on Yadla Vasu, who has played two matches in the group stage and hasn't been dismissed. 11 ball cameos by Yadla Vasu and scoring in the excess of 200 strike rate. He has had a very good record and stage is set for another here. Oh, has he nicked it? Yes, the umpire Sujay Netravarkar putting the dreaded finger up and Yadla Vasu has been dismissed. Shivam Singh picks up the wicket. And that's quite a telling blow as the man in form Yadla Vasu is departing very cheaply. MCC lose their sixth wicket, 143. 18th over is in progress and in walks Yogesh Kautankar. At times, the batters take too much risk in playing the improvisations 
dishing out the improvisations, but if those shots come off well, they get big runs as well. That's the risk. And it's on in the death stages. This time it hasn't worked for Yadla Vasu. Yogesh Kautankar is now on strike. The brother of Snehal Kautankar. And he's known for playing just like his brother, technically strong cricket. Gets off the mark with a couple proper cricketing shot there by Yogesh Kautankar. It will be interesting to see how he goes about tackling the death overs. 145 for 6 now MCC in 17.5 overs. What a delivery there by Shivam Singh. Look at the carry in that ball. And he has also got a sneak of Yogesh Kautankar's bat. And that's the loss of another wicket for MCC. Their inning has been rocked here by the Salgaonkar bowlers. Losing the last two wickets. In fact, three wickets in that over and Shivam Singh has grabbed four wickets in his three overs now, giving away just 19 runs. What an over. Could turn out to be the match turning over as well. Who knows? Mudgaon Cricket Club are marching really solidly. But have been packed back. 145 for 7 at the end of 18 overs. And the new man in is Yash Kaswankar. Lakmesh Paune is now coming on from the Bandodkar road and change of end for him. In his previous three overs, Lakmesh Paune has picked up two wickets, giving away 31. Nice shot there by the new man in Piyush Yadav gets the boundary on the first ball of the 19th over. MCC uh, 149 for 7. P. Shadow is on 5. Shot delivery and what a shot this. Exquisite pull shot there by Piyush Yadav. And the maximum also brings up 150 run mark. Crosses it. 155 for 7 now MCC. 4 and 6 to begin this over. And his team will hope that more runs comes off his bat in similar fashion. What a shot inside the line of the ball and he played that pull with a lot of 
authority. The last over had rocked MCC, three wickets going down. But now the 19th over has started with great promise for MCC, 155 for seven. A fumble on the boundary line there, but uh, the fielder recovers in the nick of time. Two runs, nevertheless, for Piyush. He moves on to 13 of 4. 157 for 7. Important runs, this. You have seen the margins of victory in this tournament. A two-run victory for MCC on the opening day. A one-run victory for Saragongar in that virtual quarter-final against Chaugule. Every run becomes important. What a shot! Look at that! Just like Rishabh Pant, Piyush goes down but gets a sixer with that shot over the square leg boundary, full toss and Piyush was on it in a flash. This has been an unbelievable contest with the bat and ball this particular over and so far Piyush Yadav is on top of Lakmesh Pawne. 18 of first four deliveries. Piyush Yadav is on 19 of five. MCC 163 for 7. The fielder deep on the boundary line comes in quickly and prevents the second run. Yash Kaswankar will be on strike for the first time now. Hundred and sixty four for seven. Nineteen runs from this over, still a delivery to go. Another mid-pitch conference between the batters. Piyush probably having some tip for Yash Kaswankar. We'll see what is coming up. This is the last delivery. Nineteen overs have been bowled. Nice to see the dive being put in and uh, two runs added to the total 166 for 7 MCC after 19 
Shivam Singh is getting ready to bowl the last over of this inning. Picked up three wickets in his last over. Four for 19 is his return so far. Very impressive. Shivam Singh coming on from the Mandvi River end. Piyush Yadav is on strike. 20 off six from his bat. What a entertaining knock is playing very important as well from the MCC point of view. Sargonkar Cricket Club who had fought back into the match with three wickets in that Shivam over but were then again put to sword by Piyush Yadav in that Lakmesh Pawne over. This is now the final over of the inning. Charging down the ground and another of that beautifully struck shot of Piyush Yadav's bat. Delighting the spectators and I'm sure the viewers as well on the Goa Livecast YouTube channel enjoying this contest. Between the bat and the ball, this is the first semi-final in the Bandhutkar T20 League 2024. In progress here at Panjim Jimkhana ground. Shivam Singh bowling a length ball and Pew Shadow coming out of the crease and sending the ball many a miles away. Good hitting. This is Piyush Yadav's third sixer in this brilliant cameo that is he's playing. He's on 26 from seven deliveries. Piyush Yadav plays for Goa under 23 team. And has made an impression as a very strong stroke maker. Whatever he has tried, it has come off today. And that's how he has reached 26 from 7 deliveries. Not taking the single on offer here. Piyush Yadav is clearly eyeing the boundary. Not interested in taking singles. Shivam Singh. Wants to get everything right as far as the feeling personnel is concerned. Trying improvisation there, but Piyush Yadav missing the ball completely. Two back-to-back -back dot balls now. Once again, the reverse hit is not coming off 
this over for Piyush Yadav. Shivam Singh was struck for a sixer of the first ball of this over. Is now making a very good comeback. Three dot balls to follow that sixer. Last two deliveries to go now. What a shot! It's a boundary signal by umpire Sujay Netravarkar Piyush clearly favoring the onside for the big shots. Coming down outside the off stump and hiking the ball into the square leg region for a boundary after three dot balls. Mudgaon Cricket Club move up to 176 for seven. So the last ball of this inning yet to come. Good total on the board for MCC after having elected to bat first. Short delivery and Piyush has launched it for a maximum. What a strong way to finish this inning. Six of the first ball, six of the last ball, and Mudgaon Cricket Club have ended up with a challenging total of 182 for seven. Winning the toss and electing to bat first. This is a very powerful batting performance by MCC in this first semi-final of the Bandotkar T20 League 2024. Sargonkar Cricket Club also have a very strong batting unit. So we are set here in this first semi-finals for an entertaining chase as well. Piyush Yadav remaining not out with 36 runs from 12 deliveries, two boundaries and four sixers in that brilliant cameo knock by Piyush. Earlier today, Tapaswi Pininti scored 55 runs. And this is the Salgaonkar bowling card, Shivam Singh was the most successful bowler, taking four wickets, giving away 35. Lakmesh Paune picked up two wickets, giving away 52 runs. And Amit Yadav picked up one wicket in his two overs, giving away 26 runs. Overall, it's been very entertaining morning. And It's bound to continue as far as the day is concerned because the second match also features top sides like Manas Panjim Jimkana and Deserts and More Chino SC. But all eyes now on Saragaonkar Cricket Club, the defending champions is chase of this MCC total of 182 for 7 in a very short while. Game on, the two possibility batters out there. That's huge. Wrapped on the bags, loud appeal, up goes the finger. And celebration begins. It looks like almost as if the ball is not even balanced and what a good team work here.
Du bier en al den jaxit zo daar ik het. Coming down the face, with the ball on the half of your employee. Huge high and handsome right out from the middle of the bag. That's Robin for you. He's playing the bonus. Game on, the two fucking looking battles out there. That's huge. Wrapped on the bags, loud appeal, up goes the finger. And celebration begins. It looks like almost as if the ball is not even balanced and what a good team work here. Could be an out and yes it's a direct hit. Coming down the face with the ball on the half of your employee. Huge high and handsome right out from the middle of the bag. That's Robin for you. He's playing the bonus.
वेलकम बैक टू पैंजिम जिम खाना वह साड़गांव का क्रिकेट क्लब जस्ट अबाउट सेट टू बिगिन द चेज ऑफ दिस चैलेंजिंग टोटल ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड एटी टू दैट इज सेट बाय एम सी सी हु इलेक्टेड टू बैट ऑन विनिंग द टॉस tapasvi pininti and later piyush yadav played striking knocks today to set mcc on their way to the total of 182 sargaonkar cricket club shivam singh was the most successful bowler picking up four wickets and it's now over to sargaonkar batters out there aditya suryavanshi and prathamesh gawas while the bowling operations will commence with mcc captain felix alemao being in charge from the mandavi river end we got a game on here on our hands this is the first semi final of pandotka t20 league 2024 organized by panjim jimkana aditya suryavanshi will be the man on strike saragaonkar cricket club using the same batting combination to open their innings in the semi final as well off the mark straight away aditya suryavanshi the wicket keeper batter of saragaonkar cricket club prathamesh gawas now on strike scored a half century in the group stages as well prathamesh gawas Sargaonkar Cricket Club haven't really clicked as much as the team would have loved to lost one group match won the other by just one run against Chaugule Sports Club to progress to this semi final oh direct hit and that might have been tight but prathamesh kawas has now opened his account as well two singles on the first two deliveries of this felix alima over both the openers scampering for singles on the first delivery they have faced so far shot delivery and aditya suryavanshi sends it across the boundary four runs to the total first boundary of saragaonkar cricket club innings aditya was in a very good position to play the shot time giving a charge to felix ball taking the edge of his bat and bringing a boundary nevertheless same result the execution was not anywhere closer to the previous shot that he had played the upish the edge of the upish part of his bat nevertheless four to the total sargaonkar cricket club 10 for no loss after the first four deliveries of the opening over aditya 
Suryavanshi is on nine. Good feeling there in the gully region. Saves, runs for his team. Yash there, the fielder. And Adit takes a single, moves into double digits. Good delivery to end this over Felix Salomon conceding 11 from the first over. Prathamesh Kawas just loosely hanging his bat there. Lucky for him that didn't that he wasn't close at all to that ball. Sort of a nothing shot there by Prathamesh. She's on one. Aditya Suryavanshi is on ten. Tapasvi Pininti, the outstation pro in the MCC ranks, is going to operate from the Bandotkar Road. And earlier today we saw a very good inning from his bat. 55 runs. 55 runs came from his bat. In 32 balls, four boundaries and four sixers. Helped him to provide the impetus to the MCC inning. Medium pacer coming on from Bandotka Road End to begin the second over of this inning. Aditya Suryavanshi is on strike. Good running between the wickets there by between the two Saragankar openers. Early calling and good respond, response from the non-striker as well. Prathamesh Kawas now on strike. The right hand, left hand combination out there for Saragankar. They're chasing a total of 182. And the target is 183. A very big, very important s score. In terms of history in Indian cricket, Oh, that's a huge bouncer and call wide by umpire Pramesh Parabran, rightly so. It was way over the head of the batter. Aditya Surya Vanshi. This Jimkana, Panjim Jimkana track has been very sporty right through this tournament. The bowlers, especially the pace bowlers, 
got a lot of purchase on this track. The pounce has been very good. Another wide from Tapasvi. Sargonkar Cricket Club, 16 for none. Sargonkar are the defending champions in the Bandhodkar T20 League. Good running between the wickets, between both of them. They, they are a settled opening combination here for Sargaonkar Cricket Club. And obviously have a very good understanding between them as far as the running between the wickets is concerned. We have seen this in the tournament. They run quite well with each other. The score moving up to 17. This is the second over in operation. Another bouncer. And it's... It's called a no ball. Empire Pramesh Parap signals a no ball. And a free hit as well. Tapasvi wanting to get extra pace in his delivery. This time the ball being slightly over pitched and well struck. Sixer for uh, Aditya Suryavanshi, a flat hit for a maximum. The batsman was prepared to unleash a big shot. And it was a free hit as well. Good connection. 24 for no loss. The last delivery in the second over coming up. 13 already from this over. Nice drive, but probably didn't get hold of that shot. And dot ball to finish the second over. Aditya Suryavanshi is on 18 from 9. Prathamesh Kawas is on 3 from 4 deliveries. Saradankar Cricket Club 24 without loss.
not a sixer. This time it's Pratmesh Kawas who gets into the act and dispatches that short delivery from Felix Alemau beyond the square leg boundary. Both the batsmen growing in confidence. Aditya started the original attack and now Pratmesh Kawas is joining him, freeing his arms. 30 for no loss. Beautiful hands this time, guiding the ball between the two fielders on the offside. Once that ring is penetrated, there's no stopping the ball and four runs to Prathamesh and Saragaukar Cricket Club. Nicely opening the face of the bat. The Kali and Point fielders could not put a stop onto that shot, 34 now. Very sensible batting. Six and a boundary is now followed up with that single. This is good cricket by Saragankar Cricket Club openers. They're playing the team into a very solid foundation here in this chase of MCC total of 182. The second over is in progress. 11 runs from the first three deliveries. Single this time to Aditya. Playing on the merit of the delivery. Felix Alemo, very experienced, the MCC captain. Bowling his second over from the Mandvi River end. Good length delivery and uh, Pratamesh Kaos spoons an uh, easy catch there for Yogesh Kautankar to take first wicket down now for Saragangar Cricket Club. Pratamesh Kaos departs for 14 of 7 balls. Slight change in pace as well. That might have got the better of Prathamesh Kaos. Usually employed as a wicket taking weapon, the slower ones is an essential part of Pacers Arsenal and Felix Salimau provides the breakthrough. Gaurish Kamri is the new batter coming out to join Aditya Suryavanshi. In the center, Aditya is batting on 19 from 10.
Dot ball to finish the third over of the inning. 36 for one, Sargaonkar Cricket Club. Successful over comes to end. And for uh, Felix Alemau picking up the wicket, although he is on the slightly expensive side. 12 runs came from that over. The wicket of Prathamesh Kawas was what Felix Alemau grabbed. Yadla Vasu is now being brought on from the Bandotka Road End. The spin being introduced by the MCC side here. Yadla Vasu has been very good, very impressive so far for MCC throughout this tournament. Of course, he could not click today with the bat like he had done in the group stages of the tournament. But now has the ball in his hand, the left arm orthodox bowler. Dot delivery to start his spell. Coming on to bowl in the fourth over in the power play stage as well. Tight run there taken by the Saragankar batter with Gaurish Kamri. Running to the danger end. The ball was straight into the hands of the point fielder and looked tight, but Gaurish Kambi seems to have made his ground in the nick of time and on strike now. Another wide being signaled by umpire Pramesh Parab. Good running from Saragankar batters. You've seen there right from the start of their innings. They have done the running part pretty well. Taking these tight singles, rotating the strike. Second wide of this over now. Four runs so far from three balls of this Yardla Vasu over. Forty for one in three point four overs, Sargonkar Cricket Club. Going down the ground for the single. Aditya Surya when she moves on to twenty one of fourteen balls. Orish Kamri in good position to loft that ball. Good transfer of body weight onto the back foot and lifts it into the long on region for a boundary. Gaurish Kamri notches up his first boundary and also takes the total for Saragankar onto 45. One bounce into the boundary. 
Nine runs came from that over bowled by Adla Vasu. Eleven point two five is the current run rate for Saragaonkar Cricket Club. A long batting lineup as well in the Saragaonkar ranks. Can expect a entertaining contest already here. Seen that in the first inning. Batting first, MCC put up hundred and eighty two. And now the chase. Is well and truly on. Tapasvi Pininti comes on from the Mandavi River end and is welcomed with a boundary here by Aditya Suryavanshi. Lofting the ball over the mid off fielder Aditya moves on to 25 Sargangar Cricket Club a 49 for 1 This time he goes on the leg side and gets a boundary as well. 50 runs up for Sargaonkar Cricket Club. 53 for one. Two back-to-back -back boundaries now for Aditya. Tapasvi Pininti under pressure. Conceding boundaries of his first two deliveries. The outstation pro for MCC bowling from the Mandvi River end. Change of pace this time. Aditya skied it. And a fielder takes a very, very comfortable catch. Yogesh Kauthankar takes another catch of this inning. Very good change of pace by Tapasvi and Aditya Surya Vanshi. Could not get hold of his shot and he departs for 29 of 16 balls. Sargonkar Cricket Club lose their second. They're 53 for two in 4.3 overs. Aryan Narvekar is the new batter. So both New man now out there for Sargangar. As both the openers have been dismissed. Aryan Narvikar is on strike. Tapasvi Pininti grabbed the wicket of his third delivery of the over. Good ball, not allowing the new batter to play a scoring shot. The first two balls of Tapasvi had 
resulted in two boundaries. But the bowler is now on his way to stage a recovery. White signaled by umpire Sujay Netravarkar. Dot ball to finish the over number five, 54 for two, Saragangkar Cricket Club. Rahul Mehta now coming on to bowl from Bandotkar Road End. Rahul Mehta has bowled pretty well in this tournament in the group stages has been amongst the wickets as well Aryan Narvekar is now on strike yet to get off the mark having faced three deliveries. Aryan Narvekar, the left-handed batter for Saragangkar Cricket Club. That could be tight. Yes, he's gone. Kaurish Kamui has been run out here.
The bowler was going towards the ball and Gorish Kamri coming on, running in the same, same line, could not get beyond the bowler in time and was found short of his ground. Unfortunate in that sense, but nevertheless, it's a run out. Three round now. Saragongar Cricket Club of 55 for three. This is the sixth and last over of the power play stage in operation. Vasu Yardla was the fielder there, quite quick on the ball and the wicket keeper did the rest. That brings the Saragaonkar skipper Deepraj Gaonkar to the crease. Just two overs remain in the power play stage now for Saragaonkar Cricket Club to capitalize. Rahul Mehta in the middle of a tight over here, very economical. Just one run has come from his four deliveries. Last delivery of the power play stage now. Wide signal by umpire Pramesh Parab takes the total to 56 for 3, 57 for 3. Nice tickle down the Final egregion there. It's a boundary for Aryan Narvekar, and that also opens his account. The left hander just helping the ball go down that fine leg boundary. Played very nicely indeed, that shot. 61 for 3. After the end of six overs, Sargaonkar Cricket Club, the power play stage has brought over 10 runs and over for Sargaonkar Cricket Club, who are chasing a total of 182. So they need 122 runs more in 14 overs. Rahul Mehta goes for seven runs in his first over. And we'll see another spinner being brought on. This time from the Mandavi River end. Yash Kaswankar. To start the over number seven.
just reaching, evading the stretched arm of uh, the fielder on the long run fans a sixer this time for Deepraj Kaukar. Yash Kaswankar, the off spinner, pitching full, and Deepraj Gaukar was ready to pounce on that opportunity to get his maximum number one, 67 for three. Deepraj Kaukar skies the ball, has it? Yes, indeed, the fielder. Dishank Miskin is the fielder again. Safe pair of hands, what a catch by Dishank. Deepraj Kaukar seemed to have got under the ball a bit and that sent the ball high up in the air. And Dishank. Miskin doing the duty on the boundary line there. Takes a really good catch. It's a big blow. The captain of Sargaonkar Cricket Club walks back. The defending champions are 69 for 3. 69 for 4 at the end of 7 overs. Yash Kaswankar picks up the important wicket of Deepraj. Amit Yadav is the new batter, played a crucial inning for Saragaonkar in that one-run victory over Chaugule. It was his 40-run knock that stood out in that match after Saragaonkar suffered a batting collapse of sorts. And it's once again four wickets down pretty cheaply. Amit Yadav will have to come up with something similar. Rahul Mehta is back on from the Bandodkar Road and considered seven in his previous over. Eighth over is about to begin. Change in field for the very experienced to former Goa Ranji Trophy all rounder Amit Yadav on strike now. 
very crucial phase of this semi-final. Off the mark, Amit Yadav there. Playing the late cut. Aryan Narvikar is on seven. Aryan Narvikar, member of the Goa under 23 team. While Amit Yadav has played for many years for Goa Ranji Trophy team, is on strike now. Using his feet and coming down the track to loft this into the offside, but shot doesn't have enough power behind it to cross the boundary line. Two runs to Amit Yadav. So a young and a seasoned experienced pro now out there for Sargaonkar Cricket Club. It will be very interesting to see how they tackle this phase of play. Oh, there you go, Amit Yadav, who always plays aggressively, coming down the track and missing the ball to be stumped. This is a big blow in the situation for Saragangar Cricket Club now. Half the side gone. 74 for 5 at the end of 8 overs. Rahul Mehta gets the wicket and two of the big fishes in this Saragangar lineup that is Deep Raj and Amit Yadav dismissed very cheaply. MCC with their tails up now. Sagar Wantamuri is the new batter coming in. Hundred and nine runs required in twelve overs at the required run rate of over nine per over. This is not going to be easy. And it will take a special effort now for Saragankar to get closer to this asking rate and ultimately the total of hundred and eighty two. Yash Kaswankar will operate, continue to operate from the Mandavi River end, set to start the ninth over of the inning. Eight runs came from his previous over with the wicket as well to his name.
Sagar Vantamuri picks up the single. The first ball that he has faced. It will be paramount importance for these batters to keep the score ticking. Five wickets gone. Sargaonkar Cricket Club are struggling a bit here. This is the first semi-final of Bandotkar T20 League 2024 organized by Panjim Jim Khanna. Just three runs coming off that over by Yash Kaswankar. Sargaonkar Cricket Club, uh, 77 for five at the end of nine overs. So the runs now coming in singles. That's off the clouds, four runs to Sagar Wantamuri. Four runs will help him to relieve a little bit of pressure. And here, once again, trying to play aggressively. And that's what the fans of Sargaonkar Cricket Club will also be encouraged to do. Two runs to follow that boundary.
At the end of 10 overs, Sargaonkar Cricket Club 83 for 5. Aryan Narvekar is batting on 14. Sagar Vantamuri is on 2. Current run rate is 8.3, required is 10. Yash Kaswankar bowling is third over. Very important in this situation for the batters to look for opportunities to capitalize on and in the last over it was Aryan Narvikar getting a boundary. So a boundary in every over will get Saragaukar easing out the equation as well. But in general, the MCC bowlers have bowled with great discipline and not given too many loose deliveries as well. So that's the end of 11th over. Rahul Mehta was excited about something there, but the appeal was lacking in confidence and confidence in Pires is not out. This time a wide signal by umpire Pramesh Parap. 87 for 5. This is the 12th over in progress. Rahul Mehta's fourth and final over as well. Sagar will get only one run for that shot. Extra cover region.
Aryan Narvekar on 15 of 17 balls is now on strike. Sagar at the non-striker's end is on 5 from 11. 95 runs now required in 52 balls. A leading edge this time of the bat of Aryan Narvikar. Lucky for him that it fell well short of that uh, fielder in the mid-off region. Using his feet, coming down the ground, but ju will just get single for that on drive. The left-handed Aryan Narvikar. Sagar Vantamuri now on strike. He's 5 from 11. This is the 12th over. Rahul Mehta with the ball in his hand. Bowling economically. Rahul Mehta is coming towards the end of his quota of four overs. Ninety for five now. Sardaukar Aryan Narvikar is on strike. Looking to play a big shot on the onside, but only getting a thickish edge that gets him a single and 12th over has come to an end. Saragangkar are 91 for 5. Four overs bowled by Rahul Mehta, picked up a wicket, giving away 23 runs. Change in bat and probably a word or two going out from the dressing room for sure. Sargaonkar batters out there might bring in more urgency in this chase. They required a run rate of over 11 now. 92 runs needed in 48 balls. Good fielding there by the fielder there in the mid-off region. Yash Kaswankar going to the fielder to applaud his work. Good to see the team spirit in the MCC field as well. Yash has also been very good with his Return one for 16 so far. This is his fourth and final over. Just a single for Sagar Vantamuri there. A tall batter. Unleashing a powerful drive, but won't get more than one. He's on seven from 13. Aryan, now on strike, he's on 18 of 22. So both this batter are batting at a strike rate under 100 and in T20 strike rate matters a lot 
and that's how Sargaonkar falling behind the required run rate. Ninety runs in forty-four balls. That's the equation. Daunting task ahead. Required run rate is over twelve. Good shot there by Aryan Narvikar. That's what is required for Saragankar. 1-1-2, one, one, they need that maximum in regularity. But nevertheless, Aryan Narvikar has succeeded in launching one. The total moves up to 99 for 5. Aryan Narvikar is now on 24 from 24, a strike rate of 100. Eight runs of this over. The last ball is now coming up of the 13th over. Aryan Narvikar is on strike. Just a single to end the over. 102. For loss of five wickets, Saragankar Cricket Club. After 13 overs, Aryan Narvikar is on 25. Sagar Vantamuri is on 9. Seven overs to go. 81 runs required. Yash Kaswankar finishes his quota of four overs. One for 23 are his figures. We will now see Yadla Vasu, the left arm orthodox bowler, being brought on from the Bandotka road end.
they need a couple of big overs here, Saragankar, to get back into the contest. Dart ball for Vasu to begin this over. It's over number two for Vasu. He had gone for nine in his previous over. Short delivery and Aryan goes full power behind that shot. The attempt to catch it has taken the pace of that uh, shot and two runs to Aryan. like uh, Yarla Vasu has taken the full impact of that full-blooded shot needing some medical attention Aryan Narvekar moves on to 28 from 27 79 runs required in 40 balls now. Some ice treatment and Yadla Vasu is back to bowl his third delivery. His palm must be stinging from that full impact of that full blooded shot. But nevertheless, he gets back in two runs from his previous two balls. Aryan Narvikar on 28 is on strike. Striking well now, Aryan Narvikar. Lot of responsibility on his shoulder now. Is the man with his eye in has got a start now behind him. Can he convert this into sub something substantial for Saragangar Cricket Club? Sagar now on strike is on 8 from 13. 70. 8 runs needed. Yarla Vasu is mixing up his deliveries. Varying the length. Keeping the batter guessing. Seeing Sagar coming down the track, he varies the line of the delivery. Leg by signaled by umpire Pramesh Parab. Sagar on eight from 15 deliveries. 
striking even lesser than 50% the strike rate for Sagar. The strike rate just over 50% in fact. But Aryan Narvikar has lifted his strike rate. He's on 30 from 29. And that's the end of 14th over. Sargaonkar Cricket Club, 107 for the loss of 5 wickets. 76 more runs required in 36 balls. Tapaswi Pininti in operation. His previous two overs have gone for 22 runs. A wicket to his name as well. Pininti Tapaswi, outstation player. Bowling from the Mandavi River and 75 runs required in 35 balls. Sargaonkar Cricket Club fans will be hoping that there is some endeavour to make an attempt for big shots as well. This time a wide from the bowler. Right from his first over, Pininti Tapasvi has been guilty of giving away wides. Good delivery, almost York, Yorker length ball there. And uh, Sagar Vantamuri gets uh, two runs for that. Slight misfielding by Dishank Miskin. Was enough for the batter to get in the second rank. 111 now for five. Sargaonkar Cricket Club. Vasu Yadla, the fielder there. Takes a comfortable catch now and Sargaonkar Cricket Club have lost their sixth wicket. They're really tottering. The defending champions are here. And it's the end of Sagar Vantamuri. After making 10 runs from 16 balls.
Tapaswi Pininti gets second wicket. Vijan Panchal, the new batter, outstation pro in the ranks for Salgaonkar Cricket Club, bowled well earlier today. Now gets off the mark straight away. It's a big ask now for the batters. The required run rate has gone over 13 per over. MCC are clearly on top of the game. Now, they have packed back Saragankar, taking the wickets in a heap. And have made the defending champions work very hard for every run. Tapasvi Pininti. Fifteen overs gone. Saragankar Cricket Club 114 for six. Aryan Narvekar is putting up a lone fight there. He's on 32 from 31 balls. Tapasvi Pininti finishes his third over. 2 for 29 is his return. Five overs remaining. 69 runs required. Saragankar Cricket Club after the opening partnership of 36. Lost wickets in a heap and then could not get the momentum and here goes another wicket. Sanat Neugi takes an easy catch and it's the end of Vijan Panchal. Yardla Vasu picks up a wicket in his third over. The ball went very high and Sanat Nevgi was under that catch in a cool and calm manner and makes no mistake. That's seventh wicket down now for Saragaukar Cricket Club. Punlik Naik now walks in. The Goa under 19 captain Aryan Narvikar is unbeaten on 32 from 31, and the defending champions are clearly on the ropes here. This hasn't yet been a performance befitting the defending champions. MCC have 
been able to make inroads in the Sargaonkar Cricket Club ranks at will. They have dominated the game in all departments so far and unless there is something spectacular, they are going through to the final MCC. Yadla Vasu now in his third over. Gets the wicket of the first ball in this over. Both these young batters undecided on whether to go for the second run or not, but luckily for them, they were back in their crease when the ball was back in the bowler's hand. Purnlik Naik on strike, he's on one. Aryan Narvekar at non striker's end on 33. Four balls gone, this over, just two runs of it. And that's four runs to Punlik Naik. Sargaonkar Cricket Club move up to 120 for seven. Wanting to go big on the mid wicket region. The ball takes the inside edge, beats the fine leg fielder. Four runs to Punlik. He's on five. Last delivery of the 16th over now coming up. Misses it totally. Yadla Vasu. Three O's. No maiden. One wicket. Giving away 19 runs. In his bowling so far. So Sargaonkar Cricket Club now requires 63 runs in the last four overs. This looks like mere formalities unless there is some consistent effort coming in to change the situation. But is it too late? However, one can never rule out anything in cricket unless you are at the end of the mathematical possibilities as well. Felix Alemao, the captain of MCC, is back from the Mandvi Road and in his previous two overs, he has uh, picked up a wicket and given away 23 runs. Aryan Narvikar has launched this beyond the mid-wicket boundary for a Sixer, the much needed maximum that the Saragankar team and the fans will be hoping for. Starting this 17th over with a Sixer, Aryan Narvikar moves on to 39 of 33 balls. They need a very big over here, Saragangar. Surely seven wickets down, just three wickets in hand now. Uh, 
And Felix Salomon, the experience that he has, knows the necessary alteration that he had to make to get a dot ball. This time all along the ground, Aryan Narvikar just gets a single, moves on to 40. Unlik Naik swings one to the long on fence, just a single though. It's now the boundaries are well protected. It must be a really telling blow, well placed blow or a aerial shot going all the way to get big runs for Sargaonkar. MCC have now taken complete grip on the proceedings. Fifty five runs required in nineteen deliveries. Sargonkar grappling with the situation. Do they have a good looking shot this time? Perfectly bisecting the fielders there, and Aryan Narvikar gets a very, very good. Well connected boundary. You will enjoy this shot for sure, Aryan Narvikar. Very flamboyant there. Good shot making. He moves on to 44 of 37 balls. Sargaonkar up to 132 for 7 after 17 overs. They'll need Aryan to fire now more shots like that. And you never know. 18 balls remain. 51 re runs required. Yardla Vasu in his fourth and final over. Punlik Naik gets a single, brings Aryan Narvikar, who is on 44 on strike. Waging a lone battle, Aryan Narvikar. Moves on to 45, 49 runs required in 16 balls. That's the equation. This is the first semi final of Pandotkar T20 League 2024. Completely beaten 
पुंडलिक नायक and that's normal as the batters have to take their chances if they come off well and good that's the situation sargaonkar find themselves in now desperate stage yakerland firing in the ball in pursuit of a dot or a wicket that's what yardla vasu has been doing bowling pretty well good delivery this time it's short air full toss and well connected good timing as well finding the gap aryan narvekar moves on to 49 139 for 7 in 17.5 overs sargaonkar cricket club and that says uh, 50 aryan narvekar providing the resistance to the rivals scores 50 of 41 balls it includes four boundaries and two sixers standing tall amidst the ruins aryan narvekar here sargaonkar cricket club require 43 runs in 12 balls Felix Salimo continues it will be his fourth and final over 35 runs have come from his previous three a wicket as well to his name the captain of mcc going for over 10 runs in the over short delivery and aryan hoiks it up in the air what a catch there by the mcc fielder it was not easy the ball was swirling in the air leading edge as well of the bottom part of the bat for of aryan narvekar the ball was up for long time and rahul mehta had to dive strong hands helped him to hold on hold on to the ball that's the end of a valiant inning by aryan narvekar sargaonkar cricket club on a 140 for the loss of 8 wickets in 18.1 deliveries 18.1 overs another 20 another 43 runs are required in 11 balls shivam singh is the number 10 batter for sargaonkar Felix Alemo picks up his second wicket. The MCC skipper had opened the tournament with a memorable fifer 
in that opening group game against Dempo Cricket Club. Has been amongst wickets throughout the tournament. Shivam Singh on strike. Plays an uppish shot, just a chip in the 30 yard circle. Vacant mid off region, single to open his account. 42 runs required in 10 balls now. Sargonkar Cricket Club staring down the barrel. Pony Nike. And it's almost a repeat of what uh, transpired in the wicket of uh, Aryan Narvikar. But this time the fielder is Tapasvi Pininti. And the ball wasn't that high up in the air. But the dive was similar to what Rahul Mehta had put in. Ninth wicket down now. Mere formalities remain here in this first semi-final of the Bandhodka T20, T20 League 2024. MCC I have almost opened the door here of the final hurdle in their charge at the Bandhodka T20 League 2024. Lakmesh Paune is the number 11 batter for Saragangar Cricket Club now walking towards the pitch. It's been a very comprehensive performance by MCC. Lakmesh lifts one over the infield but doesn't clear the infield as such. Lands inside the 30 yard circle, just one run from that and Lakmesh off the mark. Our viewers should take a note that the second semi-final will be staged today itself. Coming live in a short while. Panjim Jim Khana, Manas Panjim Jim Khana. It will be Manas Panjim Jim Khana taking on Deserts and More Chino Sports Club in the second semi final. So stay tuned for that. Should be a cracker of a contest as both sides have some top quality cricketers from Goa and outstation players as well, decking up each of the team. But right now in the middle, is the last batting pair for Sargaonkar Cricket Club doing the duty. 41 runs required in seven balls. And it's a wicket there that's all out. Sargaonkar Cricket Club have been bowled out for 142 runs. It's a 40 run victory for MCC who are storm who have stormed into the final of the Bandodka T20 League 2024 with this comprehensive victory over the defending champions Saragangkar Cricket Club What a display 
of authority it has been from MCC, the oldest club in Goa. Oldest cricket club in Goa, MCC. Will be very happy with how they have performed throughout the tournament and now becoming the first team to make it to the final of the Bandhut Kar T20 League 2024. And here's the scorecard on your screens watching for those watching on YouTube. Aryan Narvekar, they're the only player with substantial contribution of 50 runs in that ruins. MCC captain Felix Alemao picked up four wickets, giving away 37 runs. Pininti Tapasvi, who was very good with the bat as well, cracking a half century, picked up two wickets. And with that, We've come to the end of this first semi-final. Mudgaon Cricket Club winning by 40 runs. We'll be back on air shortly with the man of the match presentation ceremony. All set for the presentation ceremony after the first semi-final wherein Mudgaon Cricket Club has uh, scored a very, very comprehensive victory over defending champions uh, Sargaukar Cricket Club. We have in the presentation uh, area Mr. Tanmay Kholkar, the managing committee member of Panjim Jimkhana. I would like to call upon the captain of Sargaukar Cricket Club, uh, Deep Raj Kaunkar, to come up and have a word with us. Deepraj, uh, tough luck. Uh, what do you think uh, didn't go according to the plan for Sargonkars today? I think the credit goes to the MCC batsmen. The, the way they played in the last two overs, the momentum shifted towards them and they really carried forward the momentum. Yes, tough luck Deepraj and hopefully later in the new tournaments, whichever Sargonkars take part in, you have better luck. Let me call up now the man of the match uh, for the day. Man of the match, Tapasvi Pininti, the outstation player for uh, MCC, played really well with the bat as well. And then 
delivered with the ball to we will receive the prize from the managing committee member of Panjim Dimkana, Mr. Tanmay Kolkar, outstation player Tapaswi Pininti. Really did well with the bat and ball. Tapaswi, uh, we'd like to have uh, some uh, chat with you. How was the pitch there? Uh, was it easy to make the shots and later with the ball as well? Your analysis of uh, the performance. Actually, starting it's a little bit of slow, but when I went to bat, it's good wicket. And I executed my shots and I enjoyed my game. And while bowling, was it a challenge uh, more than that uh, while batting or what? So while bowling, uh, it's okay, sir. Not batting is the only challenge. Right, Tapasvi, you did really well, and hopefully your good form continues in the final. Same for the MCC. Let me hear also from the captain of MCC, Felix Salomao, who picked on uh, picked up four wickets. Winning the toss in the morning as well, uh, Felix, was the toss a factor or overall uh, good performance in all departments for MCC? I think the positive thing is the overall good uh, performance from our boys. Like at the situation, again, we were in a, we got into a huddle, we came up with plans and we executed them very well. So heads off to Piyush in the end, he went and scored that brilliant cameo, which gave us that um, uh, cushion behind with the runs. So yes, uh, bowlers, Yash playing his first game, he comes up, raises his hand up, hand up and says, yeah, I'm going to bowl those four, four overs and he does it very well for us. Yeah. Well done, Felix and the entire MCC, te MCC team as well, becoming the first team to enter the final. A good comprehensive performance and good luck to your team going into the final as well. So that, uh, with that, we come to the end of the presentation ceremony. Stay tuned as the second semi-final is coming up your way in a very short while. Manas Panjim Jimkana will take on the Deserts and More Geno Sports Club in the second semi-final. In a short while, we will be back live uh, in a very, very short time as well.